This is part two of the How to Dress Like a Pirate series, Accessories. So now we're going to pick out some socks. I thought maybe the purple and white for you to bring in some of the purple of that bandana and some of the white of the shirt. Oh, I don't like striped socks. Okay. Well, we don't have any solid purples, so maybe about, how about these green ones to go with your sash? Oh, yeah, those, those match, I think. That's good. Well, I kind of like striped. Can you show me some of the striped socks? Well, we do have the red and black stripe, or we do have the black and white stripe. I'm going to keep it with the theme of the red and black, so I'll okay. go with the red and black. All right. Now we're going to start looking at some shoes. So now we're going to pick out some footwear for you. We have our very classic pirate boots. We have the more historically accurate buckle shoes. And we have the nice, comfortable, lightweight rope sandals. Well, I don't like boots, so I think I'm going to go with the sandals. Okay. Got some rope sandals for you. And what about you? Oh, I like boots. Okay. Well, the main differences between our boots is that we have some of them that are made out of pleather. Now, the pleather is a little warm to wear. It's not quite as durable either, and it doesn't stretch. Now, our leather boots are a lot more durable. They have quite a few more wears you can get out of it, as well as the leather is a bit more breathable than the pleather, and they can stretch and form to your feet and be a little bit more comfortable later on. I like the good quality ones. Now, if you want to go really good quality, we have our musketeer boots here. Oh, yeah. And these are an actual historically accurate boot. These are a bucket boot, which folds back down and then up, as well as that nice squared off toe in the heel. Yeah, that's it. I'll okay. take that. So we'll go ahead and get these for you. All right. And we'll no, go ahead and get stop. you into your boots. So now we've got your shoes on. It doesn't feel very secure at the moment. Well, if you look, there's a little loop right here that goes around the ropes, and if you scoot that upward like this, it actually tightens the back strap. Now it's a little tight here in the front. Now what you can do is you can actually adjust where these ropes are sitting. You can space them out more, you can clump them up, just to give yourself a more custom fit for the shoe. Cool, I like that. Now typically, uh, modern days, socks and sandals aren't really the best fashion sense, but in the pirate world, when you're all dressed up in your garb, the rope sandals tend to have a little bit more historical rugged look to them, and when you pair some nice colored socks with them to match your outfit, it actually has quite a nice look to it. Awesome, I like that. Now for you, now these are a very, very nice, high quality, long lasting boot, but unfortunately that does mean they have quite a bit of break in time to them and that maybe you'd want to consider putting some insoles into them if you're going to be walking a long parade route. Okay. I guess I have a little time before Mardi Gras to break yep. them in. All right. And so now you can see there's just a small gap between where your pants are and where your boots are and you can do plain black if you want it more subtle but you can also just use that little bit of splash of color to tie in the rest of your outfit. All right, where do we go next? We're gonna go look at belts and leather accessories. Okay. So now we're gonna pick out some belts for you. Now our most popular belts, we have a thin version and a thick version. Most people go with the thicker version because it has that nice pirate look and the wide belt with the wide sash has a really nice contrast to it. And it also is very slimming as well. Some people do the thinner one, which tends to be a little bit easier if you want to do that loop tail where you have the additional belt hanging down as well. But if you plan to carry a lot of heavy weapons on your belt, the wider belts can be a little bit more comfortable because it distributes some of that weight and pressure. Well, I like the idea of the thicker one, so I'll go with that. Now we do have Gold belts as well, but I went ahead with the silver because all of the buttons on your waistcoat and your pants and the grommets of the shirt are all done in silver. So we're going to put the belt on and you want to keep that in the center. So go ahead and hold that right there for me. We only tied it that one tie. We didn't finish into a square knot. So we're going to go underneath that top tail air and you want to keep it in the center all the way around. Now you want to keep the tension here because if you drop the tension, it's going to fall in the back and you want to keep it centered. 
Now typically you go about one or two notches tighter than you would on a normal modern belt because otherwise your sash and your belt will start to sag, especially with all those heavy weapons on it. So we're gonna go back under the buckle and there's a keeper in the back that we can slide this into. So we're gonna slide that over. We're gonna put the keeper right in there. We're gonna turn him to the front again. And now another trick I like to do is to just neaten up your sash a little bit. I like to widen the tails a little bit, give them a good fluff, and then you're ready to go. All right. So what, what, what kind of belt do I need? Well, I'm thinking that since you're going to Mardi Gras and you're going to be throwing a lot of beads out, that maybe you would like one of our new deluxe bead belts. Okay. Now these have all these nifty D-rings on here, so that if you want to take one thing off your belt, you don't have to take off everything in front of it because it's all separate. Okay. However, if you do have some old-fashioned pouches that go onto the belt, you can still unweave this and put all of your normal belt accessories on the thinner belt as well. Ah, uh, so you've got it upside down there. You want to make sure that this D-ring is going over top of that rivet and that they're not hanging off the bottom. It makes the belt a lot more durable. You mean because these uh, reinforce yes. so that you can hold more. All right. Now this one does have the overlap to it. And then you just tighten the thinner belt like so. Cut. <laughs> well, maybe when you're putting your belt on, you want to pull, pull your sleeves, sleeves back up. a little bit. Okay. You just want to go ahead and make sure all of these folds are centered and overlap tightly. And you just want to make sure some of your sash is showing on both sides. Okay, so how did the bead thing work? Well, we have some bead straps here that we've went ahead and put beads onto. Now, since your sash is on this side, I'm gonna put it on this side. You can either put it to the same one or you can put it to the one just below or to the side, depending on how many beads you want to carry per strap. All right, then go do that and then you could do one on the other side as well. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one from here across the side to the next one, just like that. All right, so I'm ready for Mardi Gras. Ah, not without a flask yarn. Oh, flask, okay. So we have this nice, large size flask because everyone knows no one wants those little things. You have to carry three of them. So we've got a nice size flask here that clips right on. And again, we're just gonna clip it right onto those rings. And it's quite easy to take all of this off, especially when you're very drunk. All right. Now, for that belt, we do also have all these other little weapon holders and accessories that all clip onto there. But to me, you look more like you're just about drinking and throwing beads rather than weapons. Right, because I don't think uh, Mardi Gras wants you to Probably them. not. So now we're going to get into some weapons. So now we've put a baldric on you, and most people do want to match their baldric with their belt, unless their outfit is completely mismatched, unless they have brown pants and black boots and all over the place. So this is our sea rover baldric. Now this one has Chicago screws with adjustable holes in the back that you can adjust for different sizes of sword. This you do want to put some Loctite in once you have your sword in there, just to keep it from falling out of place. You also want to make sure your baldric is sitting at the hip, not up here, not down here, just right at the hip. So we're going to go ahead and put a sword in here. Now the cool thing about the, the Sea Rover Baldric is that it holds it at that angle like this. Just like that. Which is really good when you have longer swords, but when you're in a very crowded float in the middle of the Gasparilla Parade, you don't really want this to be sticking out because just like your feathers in your hat, every time you turn, you're gonna hit the drunken fellow behind you. So we found a little bit of a solution for this one. And that is our navel style baldric. Now this one actually holds the sword at a straight down angle. The only downside to this is it does not work well for rapiers or longer swords unless you are incredibly tall. Now, if you keep it right at your side like this, when you're walking all day, it's gonna be hitting you in the leg. So we recommend to just slightly turn it to the back 
while you're walking. So that this swings between your leg and not on your yep. leg. Right. Now this also has adjustable lacing on it, and many of the swords on the scabbard have a notch that you can wrap it around to keep it tightly in place. Our baldrics now come with these little D-rings on here, and these are so that you can add one of our clip-on holsters, because what's the fun of being a pirate if you can't carry all these weapons? And so that just clips on there. On there. And just like that, you have both a sword and a gun. So what's this lace here for? Now this, most events that you go to will actually require you to piece tie your weapons regardless if they are real or fake. So what you do for the gun is you put it through the trigger and you just tie a little bow on it. And that actually keeps the drunkards from just coming up and stealing your weapons as well without you noticing. Just like that. Alright, so we're done yet? No, not quite yet. Oh, so we have one more thing. Can you think of what it is? I don't know. We need some hats. Alright. So now we're going to be picking out some hats. The two main differences between our hats is we have very mass-produced cheaper hats and unfortunately these only come in one size and they are very much made of foam and they have a bendable wire in them and pretty much any person you see is going to be wearing this kind of hat they're also not historically accurate because the cocking ribbons aren't even attached to the brim of the hat so it makes it a little bit difficult to put feathers into this hat but if you're trying to really stick towards a budget this is a pretty good hat to go with then we have our custom hats which you can choose from eight different sizes and eight different shapes we can put the hat into, as well as you can pick many of the color options of your trims, edgings, and feathers. Now I was thinking for you, since you have a rugged outfit going, we have this nice wool felt hat here that just has a nice rugged edge to it, and we've just got some red caulking ribbons right on it. So we're gonna put that one on. You wanna make sure that you have still a little bit of room with the bandana underneath. The bandana helps to absorb some of the sweat and it's also easier to wash a bandana than it is to wash a hat. You can also tilt your hat slightly to the opposite side of the tails so you just have a little bit more of that color poking through. And I was thinking for you, we have this nice fancy gray wow, and purple that hat looks here great. with these nice peacock feathers. We have the metallic to match the trim of your waistcoat here. Try this one on the same thing. We're going to slightly tilt it to the side, opposite of the tails, just so more of that color pokes through. Well, I feel finished now. Are well, you ready to this go to Mardi Gras? I am, indeed. I'm perfect, perfect with my rugged pirate outfit. And remember, for all your pirating needs, please think of pirate fashions.